Okay, folks, it's time to figure out which of these false gods is about to take some Dagoth. For the purposes of this video, we're going to somehow pretend that the Daedric princes are not ridiculously inferior to the Dunmer in terms of racial quality. I know, I know, but listen, sometimes you got to loosen your grip on reality to make some solid content. So let's go ahead and get started. Why not kick things off with the rim of all holes herself, Azura? Putting aside my personal beef with this fetid sack of has-been coochie, Azura is the very definition of one who coasts through their entire eternal life on looks alone. Zero personality with this one. She can't even take a joke without turning the jokester's entire race red-eyed and gray-skinned. Get a fucking grip, lady. Hard pass from Dizzle Dagoth. Let's move on before we offend this batty mental case even more. Skin so damn thin you could cut it with a rubber dagger. Boethia. Sometimes a Daedric prince, other times a Daedric princess. And always times willing to do some seriously freaky butt stuff if that's the kind of thing you're into. I, for one, prefer not to get Malakath on my Dagoth. So I'm gonna go ahead and sit this one out. Sorry, baby, that shit just ain't my thing. Next, please. A sexual predator is Clavicus Vile, so to the past list he goes without trial. I bet all the hentai-loving viewers just perked up quicker than a House Lalu councilman in the presence of an Argonian maid. Have you heard Hermaeus Mora's voice in Skyrim? Yuck. Imagine the noises he makes as he tentaclizes your Dagoth. Disgusting. I don't care what any of you freaks say, this repulsive pile of octopusy was born into the past list, and his slimy ass is staying there until the end of this kalpa. Next, false god, please, and thank you. I feel sick. I don't mind her scene as a person, but I feel like he gets off on killing animals a little too much for me not to suspect that it's a creepy fetish. And I've watched enough serial killer documentaries on Dwemer flicks to predict her scene's devolution into a homicidal maniac. These guys always start off killing animals like rabbits, deer, and Argonians, but then they start killing actual people. It's just not good. You'd be foolish to smash a fellow of such unsound proclivities. Pass. Next false god, please. Jigalag. Imagine what an annoying hookup Jigalag would be. He'd probably spend hours measuring your tits or balls to ensure they're perfectly symmetrical and then use complex formulas to calculate how long he'll be able to last until he crassius curios. Fucking know-it-all, windbag. Hard pass. Highly undeserving of Daddy D's D. Maybe the next prince will have some better luck. I doubt it, though. Oh, no, 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 absolutely not. I would rather give up my own godhood than be in the same room as this scat with legs. The only folks turned on by Malakath are the chicks from Two Girls, One Goblet. Hardest pass yet. Next false god right away, please. Mehrunes Dagon. In terms of looks, he's certainly no Nerevar, but let's not pretend that extra pair of arms wouldn't come in handy in a good old group smash. Still, that yucky face of his is going to be a hard sell to anyone with functioning eyes. He looks like an orc with a sunburn, and he was also bested by an outlander dragon during the Oblivion Crisis. Fucking weak. Big pass on Dagon. Let's move on to the spider lady Dagoth mother forced me to worship back when everyone still thought I was a mortal. Yeah, Mephala. Supposedly a Daedric prince who specializes in smashing, but if the sight of this grotesque arachnid excites your Dagoth in any way, I must say, I question your taste. Still, her skin is gray in a somewhat Dunmer-esque fashion, so I'm willing to make an exception and extend a hand of Dagoth diplomacy to you freaky eight-leg fetishists this one time. But I'm still putting her in pass. Next false god, please. Meridia. Depending on one's interpretation of lore, I myself may be considered undead by outlander standards. And given Meridia's uncompromising views on necrophilia, I dare say it is safe to assume she would not want a piece of Daddy D. And anyone that would consider me unsmashable is certifiably unsmashable themselves. The Daedra never cease to amaze with their outlander prejudices. Let's see what the next false god has to offer our genitals. Well... Obviously, we have a rapist in Tamriel. He's climbing in your windows and snatching your people up. Trying to rape them so you need to hide your kids, hide your wives, hide your husbands, and maybe even hide your Argonians, because this freak of nature will target literally anything. Absolutely repulsive. Easily my least favorite Daedric prince who isn't made of feces. I tried to put him in the past section, but then he forced himself into the smash section. I'm so sorry, you guys. Just run. Run and don't look back. Namira, Daedric Prince of Hunger and Lady of Decay. Nope, she's stinky and gross and embodies all things Enwa. 
On to the next false god, please, and thank you. Nocturnal. You'd be hard-pressed to find any other false god with a better rack of jiggling jigalags, but a more grand and intoxicating exemplar of a butterface I've not yet seen. I wonder if there's any mask of a certain Chimeri warlord she could wear that would make her more smashable. Hmm, now that's what I'm talking about. Oh man, that image might even inspire me to write a new main theme song for Morrowind called Dagoth Rising. Smashity smash smash, provided she's wearing that Nerevar mask, of course. Let's move on to the next false god. Periite. Well, all right. If you're in the market for some demonic STDs like sinister syphilis or heinous herpes, I guess we've found your guy. But anyone looking to keep their Dagoths and Lady Dagoths intact, I strongly recommend a pass, or at the very least a Daedric condom. Sanguine. Sanguine is an excellent candidate for a one-night stand. But the concept of a serious and exclusive relationship is entirely unknown to him. He's an absolute maverick of party and play, but he has no intentions of settling down. This is only a smash or pass list, though, so in terms of smashability, I'd rank Sanguine quite high. Still pass. No matter how fun he may be, he's still a member of a lesser race. And as a god, I always have to keep my three eyes on the ball and refrain from silly distractions. Sheagorath, the Daedric Prince of Madness. Sheagorath might make for a fun and freaky lay, but he's also the very embodiment of the crazy ex who will slash your wagon wheels or key your silt strider the moment you cut things off. For your own safety, I'm putting him in the pass section. I also enjoy making Shivering Isles fans upset by shitting on him, so that's extra motivation to put him in with the rest of the rejects. On to the next one. Vermina is disqualified from the smash list automatically because her statue makes her look like an Argonian. I may be an evil villain, but even I wouldn't stoop so low as to smash a pet. Pass, pass, pass. Passity, pass, passity. Also go fuck yourself, lady. I'm the only dream god in Tamriel. 